Here's an idea for you. Why don't you try making money with a trading card game called Steam Monsters? Yeah, that's right. Steam Monsters is a trading card game similar to Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, and Magic the Gathering. You buy booster packs, you open the cards, and if they're rare or legendary, you can sell them for a decent price. And right now, Steam Monsters is having their alpha presale. They've only been around for a few months, uh, but they've already sold 200,000 booster packs. So this game is going somewhere. Let's take a look at the market and see what some of the common prices for the Steam Monster cards are. So here we find in the marketplace for Steam Monsters, there's a number of rarities. One is common, rare, epic, and legendary. So the rare prices vary between 8 cents and say 30 cents. When you go up to a legendary, the price is more like $5. But there is another tier above that, and that is the gold foil tier. And some collectors have already paid some really high prices to get some really rare cards. For instance, if we have a look at the Elemental Phoenix, we can see there's only 21 cards so far in existence. Now, that's why it commands such a high price. Definitely for the people that want to have a set of trading cards in a gold foil. Now, I'm not going to go into the details of the game because it's still really under development. And you can go to the Steam Monsters site to buy a starter set. And then you can go ahead and buy booster packs for about $2 each. And you get five cards in that booster pack. But there is another way to buy your Steam Monster cards. Because just today, Steam Monsters have launched a Kickstarter campaign. Now, this Kickstarter campaign has already reached 50% of its goal in just a few hours. And some of the early bird pledges are already gone. You can start with a pledge of $25 or more, and that gets you a Steam account, a starter pack, and 10 alpha booster packs. Plus, you're getting some exclusive cards, including a common gold foil card. But this is the Kickstarter reward tier I recommend. It's a pledge of $200 or more, and yeah, that seems like a lot, but you're getting 110 alpha booster packs. So that actually covers the value of your pledge just with that one reward. Plus you're getting exclusive cards, including gold foil commons and an exclusive Royal Dragon Archer epic gold foil card. And the chances of you opening a few booster packs and making a few dollars is pretty high. But another way to earn money trading these Steam Monster cards is by actually playing the Steam Monster game. And they're going to have some combat arenas and weekly tournaments with a prize pool of at least $1,000. So if you play trading card games like Magic the Gathering or Pokemon, you might be suited to the Steam Monster game mechanics and actually could win a few tournaments yourself. Now, with any Kickstarter campaign, there's always some stretch goals, and this one is no different. It's actually the reason why I went ahead and purchased the $200 pack, because when Steam Monsters reaches $75,000 in pledges, everyone contributing over $200 will get an extra 50 Beta Edition booster packs. So that's actually going to be worth about $100 as a bonus. Uh, that's pretty cool. And there's also some backer goals too. So if they actually reach 500 backers, everyone will get five free beta editions. If they reach 1,000 backers, they'll get another five. There's some pretty cool stretch goals. And like I say, they've already reached half their target just today. So go ahead and check out steammonsters.com for a little bit more information about Steam Monsters. And if you can't wait, you can go ahead and purchase a starter pack and start buying and cracking open some boosters. Of course you'll need a Steam account to get started, but that's included in the $5 starter set for a limited time. So I'll be anxiously waiting for my alpha booster packs. And because it's an alpha pre-sale, once this alpha period ends, all production of alpha edition cards will stop. So the only alpha cards will be those already in circulation. And that's another great reason to start collecting your Steam Monster cards today. Because cards that are hard to get are often worth more. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, it's bye for now.